Alright, good morning everyone. So, how's everyone doing? I'm back home from Ohio. Okay, so what are we gonna do today? Alright, so... Oh yeah, here you go. Character AI. Oh, it's already mate now. Cool. Alright, so let's take a look at it. Okay, manage cookies. Actually, I'm going to accept the cookies. Alright, so let's go. Okay, so let's see if I can do anything I ask for. Hmm. Hmm, okay, so let's see if I could go with the A. Huh. Do you have to sign in for doing that? Oh, no, you don't have to do that. It's, uh... No, you don't have to do that, but... Okay. Hmm, I chose A. You have chosen the origin as an infant. Your fate unknown. Time skip to your being a ten-year-old. Oh, wow! He knows my he knows my inner thoughts. How's it going? Her oh, I touched it wrong. How's it going, Harry Potter? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I already know what I remember it is. Like, everything characters say is made up. <laughs> you have chosen to be the world of Harry Potter. The war is over. <laughs> wow! But the threat of Voldemort has not subsided. <laughs> you are a wizard learning of high talk arts. <laughs> <laughs> the wizarding world of Hogwarts is full of magic. Oh, yeah, I already know that. Everything that happened, everybody explained was seeing that. You're a wizard, Harry. Yeah. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think I have nothing yet to say with this one. Oh, there we go. So, let's see. the. How about William Shakespeare? Let's just do it a reason. To be or not to be. Do you think that's the question? Yep. Yes, it is. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. The question of life is every good one because it is the one that concerns that and it's each and every one of, one of us. But it's a bit of the problem to have the choice being that like not being because it might lead the people to say or to die is better than to live. Oof. Eek. Okay. Okay, how about this one? Oh, okay. What is the... Okay, what's the best Marvel movie? Movie. What's the best Marvel movie? I had to think of something here. It's not the Marvels. It's not the... It's not Aquaman. It's a DC movie. They are many good Marvel movies, but the best Marvel movie is definitely The Avengers. It is the only movie that brought together to the most iconic superheroes in a single blockbuster. It is a full of epic stunts, catchy lines, and impressive special effects. Huh, that's cool. Plus, it is a culmination of the all the previous movies in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, there is no doubt that The Avengers is the best Marvel movie so far. Hmm. Yeah, good point. Yeah. What's the best PlayStation game? 
What's the best PlayStation game that I were thinking about? Hmm, okay. The best PlayStation game is definitely The Last of Us. It's the masterpiece of the video game industry, which is the incredible story, intense gameplay, and a beautiful graphics. The game is full of the emotion and spins and twists that keep you on the edge of your seat. <laughs> oh, I heard about that because it's like a movie is like thick, like it has the fungus that turns you into zombies. Yeah, that's cool. Who? Or, oh, I think I'm about this one. Um. All right, let's see. Uh, Do atheists believe religion? Believe, believe religions? Oh, I already spelled atheist wrong. Alright, there you go. Do atheists believe religions? Huh. Do atheists believe religions? I just want to know why. If they believe Christians. But I guess uh, atheists don't believe Christians. Oh yeah, and no, atheists don't believe in religion nor God. That one of them main beliefs in atheism. Atheists believe that there is no God, and that all religions' beliefs are based on the superstition and delusion. Oh, oh, I see. How did God? Created the universe. Oh, you are unlimited at free. This is the please continue of your username. Oh, maybe I'll just sign in later, but because I am going to get used to this one, but it'll be in the next video, so. Alright, so. So let's see what we're going to start doing now. Okay, so I got like tier list and started to get started on what a tier list things I can start doing. Uh, excuse me. I had McDonald's for dinner, so. Okay. You excited that you'll be seeing Hunkai Star Real videos? Yep. I'll make some of that some other time in another video, so. Okay. How about get impact characters? Alright, I think it's a playable characters. Um, how about if I move in on the top each so I could like make it another one to make all of the above here? Um uh, the row above here. Um how about I put it like in the Um that's Alright, I'm just gonna put this um Alright, just gonna like put this word um Playable. Alright. Alright, I think I just gotta get this thing going on. Alright, um. Yeah, I'm gonna put IDK. Uh, uh. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put Nerf on that one. Domination. All right, I'm gonna put on awesome Super cool okay, There you go. All right, so let's go with these uh, characters I'm gonna put that on the playable side and I'm gonna put this one into the female version of it on the characters of, like travelers All right, so let's just go with these type of characters. I'm gonna think of here. So All right, so what I think about Jean I think I'm putting a dimension. Lisa, I'm gonna put on nerf for some reason. All right, I'm gonna put uh, Amber on awesome. Yeah. After that, I'm actually gonna put like Novell on this. That's super cool. Yeah, put this. Uh, Barbara is on nerf. We'll put this thing into domination. 
I choose. Yep, I choose official. It's like you're super cool on that one. All right, I guess I don't know what that one is. Okay, Kaya, playable. Right, I'm gonna put this on, at least so that's still on top. D Luke, I'm gonna go with Razor. Other characters. All right, I'm gonna put all of those one time. Okay, Maydu is gonna be super cool. I don't know who that was. I I know who that was. I can't think of a name. All right, just gonna put all these things one time. <laughs> all right, it's still a playable. Um, uh, thinking it was playable before, but I know I don't know if it's like. Oh yeah, I think it's because it got removed because it got too full. Alright, we'll go with all these in one time. Oh, I don't know these characters. Alright, now I put these in there. Ooh, ah, okay. Actually, I think it was nerfed though. Think it's still characters. Well, yep. I think there's all characters. I think I get all. Remember though. Ah, uh, this is good, but awesome. Super cool. I don't know them. Alright, I'm just gonna put this on on. Okay, I'm going to the last ones, and I think that's all I got here. Yup, just got all the characters I had to name off, but I think of it all. Alright, so any cartoon that's related? Uh, yeah, I think that I was supposed to think about all things here, but I think I'm going to put, like, DreamWorks animation movies. It's still going to be good, good. I heard that the new Kung Fu Panda 4 is coming out on 2024. It's going to be awesome. All right. All right, I'm going to put Turbo in the great movie. I'm also going to put Trolls. Like, I'm going to put something that's amazing. The Boss Baby. I'm going to put Mediocre, though. Captain Underpants. I'm going to put Average on it. Out of Junior Dragon 3. So great movie. Oh, I'm going to put Chicken Run on the perfect side. Oh, I'm going to put, like... Shrek 2. Oh, there's another Shrek on it. Yeah, I'm gonna put that other Shrek. That's so good. Uh, I have never heard about seeing this one, but still never being completely useless. Um, I'm gonna have a like add like some Wallace well, Gromit movie. Oh, I do remember seeing Shrek Forever After movie. I'm putting it in the great side. And uh, I'm going to Shrek the Third, an amazing movie. Madagascar 3, uh, average. Hydrant Your Dragon 2 is a great one. Hydrant uh, Your Dragon's good. Yep, I'm going to put Spirit in, good one. Mr. Peabody and Sherman movie. I'm putting Joseph King of Dreams on the amazing side. Shark Tale. And I'm going to put Ants in good. The B movie is always good. Rising the Guardians is a great movie. Sinbad, awesome. Fleshed Away. Comfort Panda 2. I'm going to put Mediocre for Home. 
Panda movies. I'm putting that on the perfect side. Alright, there you go. Yeah, I only put the, the first one way better though, guys. I think they're just like not really used it for good ones. Great. But uh, Mega, Ma Mega Mind is still going to make it very perfect. Monsters vs. Aliens. Uh, average though. Over the Hedge. And uh, the Road to El Dorado. I'm going to put that on the top. I think the Prince of Egypt was great. Alright. Has been hotels gonna be out of here like on Hulu? Oh, what? I did not know that. Is it really gonna be a new Has been movie? Yeah, I heard about that. It's got to be a new ones. How are they going to add like newer has been hotel movies? Oh, that's not a movie. That's a show. Actually, what I would think about has been hotel show. I think it's going to make things. Um, It looks going to be Nate actually, but. Is Hello Pabas an awesome one too as well? Oh, yeah. You know what? Yes, it is. Uh, let me just. Um. All right, there you go. Oh, that's the one I was thinking of. Oh. Yeah, I think I was like going to check that out. I love the boss is always so good. You gonna watch all of them? Uh, I can't do it during my video because copyright movies. It's a show. I can't uh, watch them because they're all copyrighted for the same in the movie from the show. I would uh, get in trouble if I ever watch these things because it's already used. Hmm. 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 Alright, so what is it, the only thing I can see here? If you look it up the story of if you look it up the new movie that's actually coming out soon that is also called Night Wa Night Swap have you heard about it? I never heard about it. Let's just take a look. Oh yeah, I did hear about this one. Huh. Cannot even believe that movie finally was here. What do you think of that one so far? It looks cringe. It, I mean, you can see the eyes right here, but this is weird and cringe. Alright, I think about the next uh, movie. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, that was the movie I used to watch in theaters. It's so good. Want to rewatch it someday? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it is going to make it very nice. Oh, so Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory is a good movie? Oh, yeah, I did see this movie since I was in his school before, but... When I do remember seeing this movie, though, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie, it is a great Willy Wonka, the first one, before he looks younger. And after the end, this is where he was, um, when he was a grown man now. But Wonka movie was still great. It's a musical movie, it's a typo.
Hmm. Have you ever talked about the story of heaven before? Oh, yeah, I heard about it, but let's think about the story of heaven. God, let's see. Oh, that, I think I remember seeing that whole thing, but, um... There are all stories about war in heaven before, but... I guess you could see the video. It's like... This is one of the most famous you see, you see stories in the entire world where Satan gets hurled down to earth like lightning from heaven. And we get a glimpse of uh -huh. the story in Revelation 12 9, but okay. that isn't actually the yeah, full I'll let story. It play for a while. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Because there is I'll a be much right more complete version left by the ancient Egyptians. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a tale about good versus evil. This was the great war in heaven. I mean, you really have to understand how much majesty was given unto Adam. From the very start, humanity was God's favorite creation. I mean, after all, we were given an entire planet to rule over. You see, being created in the image of God, our very purpose was to rule over the earth like God does in heaven. See, this glorious status was only reserved for humans. So when the prince of the lower order of angels sees this, he gets pissed. One of heaven's mightiest angels was Lucifer. He was this most magnificent being made of fire and spirit. In fact, there's reason to believe that Lucifer was one of the very first angels ever created. After all, he used to be a bright and morning star. But you probably already knew about this. However, something that isn't really talked about is just how much authority this guy actually had. You see, Lucifer, according to this Egyptian legend, was the prince of the lower order of the angels. They actually describe him to be this ruler over his own division, making him some kind of general with proper authority and power. So when God created Adam and gave him dominion over the entire earth, Lucifer, who thought of himself very highly, would get entirely filled with jealousy. Adam, on the other hand, was just made from dust. Although at the very start he was shining brilliantly with light, Adam would only be made from the ground of the earth. He wasn't a magnificent being of fire like the angels. But Adam was still created to be a reflection okay, of back. God himself. God loved Adam so much that he gave him the entire world and everything in it. Adam was to rule over all life and all life was to serve Adam. You see, Lucifer must have already been jealous. He led his army, he was a prince, he was the most beautiful of all, but Lucifer was never given dominion over a world. So when God announces that all angels have to serve Adam, Lucifer officially has enough. Addressing his legions, he finally proclaims, why should we serve this creature made of dust? So inspired by raging jealousy, one third of the angels join Lucifer. You see, starting from here, a revolution had begun. Lucifer yeah. would now declare independence from God. Lucifer had declared war on the Almighty himself. So that so the demons could declare war. I mean, from the level of arrogance of is absolutely stupendous to me. At this point, Lucifer really thinks he can defeat his creator. The pride, the hatred, had absolutely blinded him to the fact that this was suicide. But there is no rest for the wicked. Lucifer, this highly esteemed chief cherub, was now utterly consumed with rebellion. Oh, that that guy. Oh, you mean the Lucifer? He looked like Anakin. Oh no 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 not the not the TV show I'm talking about the angel that that's the guy I was talking about oh yes that's the guy and after that he he also grew with demon wings now instead of like having good white angel wings out of that it, it made the angel wings becoming black now. I think it comes to a time that this is like a story that where he was in uh, heaven, he was, he thought it in his heart to make it more better than God, so he could use his powers to corrupt all of the angels and make them bow before for the Lucifer. And then after that, Lucifer was finally got kicked out by Michael, all because he was acting like a big asshole in this whole entire story. But at the end, he was having growing demon horns and demon wings all over it. 
and then that makes him changing Lucifer, changing his real name to Satan. Good angel, bad angel. Oh, like a uh, evil angel, like from a breaking, Be like a breaking Benjamin song. Yeah, that part. <sighs> So the next day, six million military angels would show up to Lucifer's doorstep. These were commanded by the Archangel Michael and consisted of 120,000 horsemen. Okay, so that that's a lot, actually. 100,000 shield bearers, 700,000 mail clad horsemen in chariots of fire, 700,000 torch bearers, 800,000 angels with daggers of fire, 1 million slingers, 500,000 bearers of axes of fire, 300,000 bearers of fiery crosses, and 400,000 bearers of lamps. Wow, okay, so what kind of angel weapons do they use? Angel weapons. Okay, uh, yeah, they use that type of weapons that they use them in the Bible. They only use swords. But they use a horseman, shield barriers. Yeah, they used to have shields too. And then they, and then the mail clay horsemen and the chariots of fire and torch bearers. Oh, okay, so we got these type of angel... <laughs> I noticed that they do got cool angel weapons. They use that. Oh, those are the fallen ones. Now, these are type of cool-looking angel weapons that you can find them in type of nursery rhyme, but... Actually, no, not nursery rhyme, but... <laughs> this is where you can find these. Will you also find those weapons like that? Are they according to the Bible or something? Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, I think they use it like other swords. So, let's see if I can read the ball. Okay, so in the Bible, he uses the, he is the angel with a flaming sword. And they escort it to Adam and Eve because they never want to, like, follow that rule because they broke that rule because they follow Satan instead of from the God. <laughs> Alright, so there is the angel in Revelations. Yep, in Revelation 16. Yeah, there's like, uh, let me set up real quick. So there's like a bunch of angels right here. And do they know they can use the like, they can shed the blood, the saints of prophets. And thou hast to like given them blood or drink, uh, to drink for the worthy. Huh. That is what they using from other powers. What am I gonna like read them all? It was like a New Testament story, or what am I thinking about other stories? Like, what about this whole entire story where when I saw the new heaven and new earth, or when I read the Isaiah 65 and they also he talked about the new heaven and the new earth? I think that was God who talked about the new heavens and the new earth, but the first heaven and the first earth were dead, and all because there were no sea anymore. But I mean, they could be like a big planet. But they could use it by another galaxy or something. And they used to have another class. And what is heaven you're asking for? Uh, heaven is like a city. And heaven is like a temple and a kingdom of life. So let's see what I think I can search for what heaven is going to look like in real life. Okay, so this is what heaven is really looking like. A bridge, a utopia, and a city. And it's like this. Have you heard of, like a real ones that also has the streets are made of gold? Yes, streets are made of gold. That is the one that I was thinking of. Like going to walk inside, imagine that if we're in heaven, we're gonna walk to the great streets that a city that is pure made of gold. Check it out, that one. So let's see if I can look at this up. Here it goes. Yeah, so these are these types of foundations in the city that are garnished with some type of all matters of precious stones. The first foundation was the jasper, the sec the first, the second, the jasper, the third, the Cassandowny, the fourth is emerald, the fifth, Sandox, the sixth, Sardius, the seventh, Chrysolite, Chrysolite, oh yeah, Chrysolite. The eighth is Beryl, the ninth is Topaz, the tenth is Chrysoprices, 
The eleventh is Jackanth, and the seventh is Amethyst. Amethyst. <laughs> and the twelve gates were the pearls, and the gate gates were was on one pearl, and the street and the sea was pure gold, as in a transparent glass. Huh. So, am I gonna find a golden apple or something? Oh yeah, so there is a golden apple everywhere. <laughs> oh, so there's like so many things about you could see around the whole thing about seeing like you're gonna be rich inside in heaven that you can walk to the great city that's also made of pure gold. It's so cool looking. Yes, I would totally agree. So. It is so cool, and there was a tree of life in the burial matters, and they also say you could eat the trees, and then the vines and the plants. Oh, but without our dog and sorcerers and warmongers and murderers and idolaters and the love of the maketh of lies. Hmm. Oh, so I think that I was trying to look at this up here, so... Okay, so I thought about seeing dangerous things of what is going to happen with other people, too. They don't, um... Alright, so I think about the story of the old prophecy. Okay. Alright, so this is the only thing I was reading out loud. So when a. Alright, so Proverbs 21 11 says When the scorner is punished, the simple is made wise. And when the wise is instructed, the receipt they receive he receiving knowledge all right so proverbs 20 20 says whoever curses his father or his mother his lamp will shall be put out of the obscure into the darkness and when i think about the prosperity i think that i was thinking about what is the next part Oh yeah, there it is. James 4, 6 says that God opposes the proud in giving grace to the humble. Oh. Okay, so they're all saying that they are only wanted to give it all prices and all studies that go as the guys on and go on our guidance to see what it is. Yeah, so this is already other stories that all stories of Book of Mormons are now going to like read all Mormon Bibles. And here's our doctrine stories. Yeah, there's like all this is still going in our hat. There's it's still going for our homeland. Yeah, this is a good. That's a great scripture to understand. To be honest with you. Oh, there you go. Oh, Moses had his own content now? Wow, cool. Let's see what he says. And it came to a pass that the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Behold, I reveal until the concerning this heaven and this earth writes I the words which I speak, and I am the beginning and the end. The Almighty God by mind only begot begotten I created it. These things, yeah. In the beginning, I created the heaven and the earth upon without at the sand, air but the standards. Huh. Yeah, that's uh, that was like a cool thing where Moses was still in that great pure of price. <laughs> okay, so can I think about the whole thing about seeing the Bible map set here first? Okay, so can I think about going to the the Holy Land of Ele Elevations. There's the land of the sea. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's like where Rabbi is still living on.
Okay, so... that That's the only thing you could see the... Where did I go to? You shouldn't see this. See what? Isaiah story? Oh, uh, yeah. Isaiah. You see, these angels had come to evict Lucifer from his heavenly home. So as Lucifer sees Michael and his army approaching, the very last chances to turn back would slip away forever. They had now officially become Satan, the enemy to God. So with the fate of Lucifer sealed, the angels charge at each other with a roaring battle cry. And this cosmic clash between good and evil takes place. And at this point, there was no more turning back. Yeah. Now, according to this Egyptian legend, Lucifer was this huge being. He was so huge that during this war, every single time Michael and his army would try to get close to him, Lucifer would simply charge them back, which would disperse Michael's army. His sheer stature was enough to pummel through Michael's defensive lines, and it was pretty clear yeah. that Lucifer yeah, like was winning. But that was until God decides to intervene. You see, now as Michael and his angels are literally running away from Satan, God grants his angels this cross of light. Not much oh, is yeah. known about this cross. cross but according to this ancient Egyptian legend, this cross bore the legend of in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And when they attacked Satan under this cross, Lucifer and all of his angels would instantly become faint. This is what allowed Michael to just swoop in and cast them out in an instant. You see, this cross is what yeah, ultimately true. made Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Now, what is this cross of light? Well, unfortunately, there is a general lack of information about this topic. Oh, I have been thinking about the whole story about what is the cross of light. So let's see what I can think of. What is the cross of light? What is the cross of light? Just as the light of God surrounds and protects us, this cross of light radiates peace and harmony. It carries a navity stone at the apex of the cross as the symbol of the birth of Christ is the true light of the world. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense here too. But I think it's possible to decipher its meaning. Well, if you rewind in the story, it actually tells us that it bore the legend of in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Now that alone should tell us that whatever this cross was used for, it would be backed by the Godhead in unison. It would be backed by the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Now, I don't know about you, but I know that when God puts his name on something, that same thing will be victorious every single time. So, of course, take this with a grain of salt. But I think this cross of light symbolizes God's favor. It was some kind of metaphor that tuned in Michael and his angels into God's unstoppable power. And it was this power that cast down Satan like lightning from heaven. Now, it is important to note that this story does in fact have some errors in it. Like the fact that in this legend, Satan gets cast down to hell. But the truth is, Satan is very much still here on Earth, still roaming, still destroying. But it is still very interesting how the Egyptians originally told this legend. Oh, that because the prototype to the story oh. actually involved Egyptian gods like Set and Ra. In the oldest form of this story, Set, Epic the God. devil, rebels against the god of or heaven and gets so utterly God. destroyed. In Don't another form, Set makes war the on Horus, the, the son of Osiris, and then on Osiris himself. You see, these stories were actually borrowed from hieroglyphics and then later Christianized. So but don't disregard the story gods, just yet. Huh? You see, in the Book of Enoch, we learn about this secondary group of angels that come down from heaven before the flood. They, just like Lucifer, wanted to be worshipped and adored. So after these fallen angels come down from heaven, they would end up posing as false gods that would clutter the earth in those days. Oh. You see, a lot of these fallen angels are generally associated with these Egyptian gods, like Ra and Osiris. They're oh, I see that. There is a distinct possibility that the Egyptian gods in this story are actually Lucifer and his angels from a very long time ago. I wonder how much truth there is to this story. Now, in the end, I realized that the beauty of this story doesn't lie in the historical or biblical accuracy, but rather in the lessons they teach. This story has endured through the ages for a reason, and I think that reason is the unwavering fact that no one on earth and nobody in heaven can ever surpass the boundless strength of the Almighty God. 
So that was the real story about why this devil wanted us to have our Earth be destroyed. So they were using us to make every make our lives miserable and make things more worse. What kind of planet are we still living on? I'm not being political, but I wish the world is safe. And I'm thinking of they're hailing the they're gonna say hail next gen or. Oh, hail the world of the nights of the darkness. I think that's what they're going to be doing now in this whole entire future. I think they're making Antichrist people turning that into making people burn the churches down. Just like in 2023, they like how they do in the war at the uh, Israelites and the Hamas. That's because they don't get along. So, because becoming a false... Like a false person makes you look like you're going to become a demon. Is it always like this when a demon makes you to become a god? And. And sons killing their own fathers. And then sons killing their own mothers. Daughters killing their own mothers and fathers. And their friends killing their own wives and husbands. Friends killing their own friends. Enemies killing their own friends. I don't think so. Well. They are still gods out in the world. They were supposed to be out of the world in Egyptian's life. But. Not those who were going to make you worship to. Egyptians have made their own gods. And now people don't know God actually. Now, concluding this video, I do want to say this is not biblically canon. None of this stuff is found in the Bible, so none of this stuff should be treated as scripture. These are stories that give us a picture of what potentially was going on a very long time ago. It is the little specks of truth that are scattered within these stories that give us this picture of this strange world of angels and demons. Now, this truly is one of the greatest stories ever told. Ladies and gentlemen, this was the great war in heaven. Makes sense, even though they actually have another world generation of having like angels and the demons they were attacking each other now. They want to declare war to defeat all the devils and all the things. Or are we going to see the next Big Bang or the new Big Bang theory going on to make things that's yet to be proven wrong? I don't want to get started on that one. Well, we're all going to be dead by then, so, yeah. Oh yeah, Lucifer, he's he only wants to take over lives from the heaven. And why did Lucifer chose to do that? Well, I'm telling you why. Because he wanted to be more better than God. That's what's going to happen in the whole world. And how do people go to heaven? Well, according to the Bible, they say you have to accept to his son Jesus as Savior and Lord. Otherwise, you won't even be able to go to heaven. But if you accept to him, he might save you and he might take you to heaven. And he might also show you the best things about what heaven's going to look like. How about the judgment seat? Oh, the king's judgment seat. Oh, yeah, I think about that judgment seat. Okay, there you go. Okay, so here's the difference between like the great white throne and the judgment seat of Christ. So, let's talk about the judgment seat of Christ first. So, when you are in the judgment seat of Christ, 
You might find that in the Bible of Romans 14, 10 to 12, the 1 Corinthians 3, 10 to 15, and 2 Corinthians 5, 9 to 10. So, the real thing is, it's only being judged by believers. We are already doing what's good, right or wrong, whatever we have done in our lives. But, you will not get an accountant for what you are doing because Jesus takes good care of that. Because even though you sin, Jesus might die for you, and he still forgives you for it. But, you might want to have an accountant to God. The things you have done is like when God or Jesus Christ only judge you because you are the good. Or is it what you have done is to talk about the story of the Samar Samarita or sometimes Samaritans. Alright, so there you go. So it said it's like to reward of the faithful service and God's children after the rapture during the tribulation after the millennium. There is no condemnation. You can look it up in Romans 8.10 if you want to. Faithful believers will receive rewards for their service to the Lamb. Now that is, that's still important here. Because if you are a person that who believes in Jesus Christ, you are going to receive what you are promised. Any good works done in the name of Jesus Christ will be rewarded as a persuaded to in eternity spend the presence of God. See? God will be coming over for you. And he might also take you a best place for you. Each person's motivates, desires, and reasons for serving God will be judged works. There's works rooted in pure motive will be rewarded. All others will be burned. Well, yes. You could look at this up in 1 Corinthians 3, 11-15. Yeah, like... Corinthians 3, 10, 15 had to do with this one. Alright, so here it is. No, all believers will stand blameless before the throne because of Jesus' righteous, who which is, delivers them from the punishment their sins deserves. Oh, yeah, I, get, I agree. Romans 3, 23, 4, 22 to 25, and 6, 23. I think it's the parable about this one here. Hmm. Serve God fully in the, in the light of the eternity. Galatians 6, 7, and 9. Do not judge others. Trust God's perfect wisdom and judgment. So it's in Romans 14, 10, 12. That's the only thing you see it. Okay, and this here, the great white throne, is also for non-believers. And this is the part where you have to, you have to settle accounts for those who rebel against God's righteousness. Whether you are lazy, or you're just, like, not hanging out with your family. Okay, so, and after the millennium, before the like of fire. Everyone who is a spiritually dead, who has not put faith in the Lamb, will be judged. There will be no defense and no appeal. So, anyway, if nothing... When it's trying to say is that nothing is hidden because Jesus, because God is already see what you're done in your life. The spiritual dead will be thrown into the lake of fire, eternally separated from God's presence. All who stand before the judge at the great white throne will be condemned, but the fire will be hotter for some than others. Wow, that verse might be important too. Yes, anyone who has rejected God's gift of salvation will receive the due punishment for their sins. Oh. That might be important too. If your name is not found in the book of life, then then God will not know you. And you're still in that story. And if he says you don't know me, you don't know them. That's a scary thing. They might... Uh, you have to depart for his word, and then you are going to get receiving what you have done. Yes. Yeah, that's what it was. So, the best thing you always do is repent and believe in the gospel. Do not wait. There are many not be another chance. But there's... Because God gives you an infinite chance. He might give you a second chance. Even though you don't deserve that. 
Because what I chose is to believe in Jesus, so I'm going to the judgment seat of Christ. So, and every person who doesn't believe, that's where atheist people will go to, like the great white throne judgment. And then God says, okay, since you told me I'm of a spaghetti monster, then how do you know if I'm going to curry the dinosaurs, huh? <laughs> yeah, you gotta believe that. Yeah. Yeah, you got another deal. It's a judgment seat going to be scarier. Well, I'm going to be honest to you. Yeah, it would be scarier. Because judgment day is not up. Because heaven is not made for people. But for people who have followed. But if you actually have faithful words. You could get. Uh, I don't want to scare you guys. But. If you don't believe you're still in that, uh, you're in that white, great white throne. And if you do believe, you're going to this throne. I mean, that is a good throne you always go. And he might crown you a good sign. So, and I guess this is the, the only thing you could look it up is this one right here. As mentioned before, prepare yourself to be when your name has been called, you will kneel down before the throne and address the Lord. What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? That was the sound of the trumpet blast, signaling you to come before the Lord. You see, everyone that comes before the throne must hear their names being called first. Once yours have been called, you may proceed. Oh, thanks. I am terrified. I do not want to go to hell. I don't want to go to that place. Anything yeah, me neither. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. That's not where I want to go. I know you don't want to go there. That place was not made for man, but for the fallen ones, my brothers. When they betrayed the Lord God and left their abode, Lucifer thought in his heart to be like God and to ascend above the stars of God, making himself equal to the Most High God. But the Amnesian God oversaw this coming. That is why he created that place for all who sin. And so, uh -huh. if you're not found worthy to enter his kingdom, that will be your eternal destination. No, 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 no. I am not going there no matter what. I am not going. I am not going there. No matter what, I am not going there. That is not where I want to be. No matter what, I am not going there. I am not. Prepare yourself. Ah, uh -huh, the final words. This is going to be the scary My part. Son. Come before my throne, and kneel before my presence. For my word says every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess. <laughs> well, uh, thank you, Lord, for the opportunity and for, uh, you know, speaking so kindly with me. Um, I want to let you know that I have been, you know, a good guy all my life, and I've done a lot of many good things and bad things, you know, a little bad things, but, I mean, I've done a lot. You know, most of the things that I've done, it's really good, you know. Um, you know, and I mean, the things that I've done, you know, I just, I just want you to know that the good things I've done, you know, you should be able to, you know, grant me a chance to come into heaven, you know, like, you know, you, you know the good things I've done, you know? Silence. You are not the judge. You cannot atone for your iniquities, neither justify them in my presence. I am the Lord God who formed you from the dust of the ground and gave you life. Oh, good thing. Now, tell me. Why didn't you help your mother when you were alive? When I blessed you with money and gave you wealth. You were supposed to look after her, but you ignored her, even when she was there for you all those years. Why, my son? But Lord, you're forgetting that that lady mistreated me so many times and accused me for so many things that I didn't do. Why are you lying in my presence? Don't you know that nothing is hidden from me? I am the omnipotent God. I am the first and the last, the beginning and the end. I know uh -huh. all things, but yet you stand before my throne, knowing the truth, but still boldly lie before my face. I'm not lying. Why thing. are you doing that? What do you mean? It's a good point. <laughs> Tell me, when you were given the chance to help out the poor, what did you do? Lord, I helped out the poor. I mean, I, I gave money to the homeless. I, I, I did okay. so many things. I did many things. I did a lot of things. I did a lot of good things, you know? Yeah, I did. I don't know what you're talking about. I did a lot yes, of you did.
But did you do those things from your heart? Was it genuine? You oh. insulted every person that you gave money to. You did not give to them because you wanted to. You oh, did those right. things to make yourself look good before others. Now oh. tell me, was that right? Was it, yeah, was I don't it? think that's a good thing. Oh no, it's too late to say sorry. I have already given you many chances in this life to repent. But in all you prayed to me, but never meant it from the heart. I don't know you. Lord, you, you, you can't say that you don't know me. Lord, I served in your house, I paid my tithe, I did offerings, I prayed, I even fasted. That's something I barely even do, but I did that because of it, you. That's you a can't good, say that you don't know me. It's a good thing. Everything which you have mentioned is good. What do you mean? But you must understand that your works does not get you into my kingdom. You were given rewards for your good works already. My word says, for it is by grace that you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. Mm -hmm. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. That's All true. you ever did was show off. You boast and brag about your accomplishments and achievements, always looking to be satisfied with gratitude from others, but never giving glory to me. I gave you life and allowed you to see many uh... days, but you never remembered me. You never knew me. And I don't know you. Lord, no, 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 that, that can't be true. That cannot be true. But look, I think that no is. one even told me this. No one told me this. I always thought that, you know, you get into heaven by doing good deeds. I mean, that's why I did good deeds. I did so many good deeds because I thought, I thought that's how you get into heaven. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I thought you'd be pleased with, you know, I thought you'd be happy with me for the things that I've done. No, I sent many along your way to show you the truth. But out of your pride and ignorance, you did not listen to them and thought in your heart that you were right and better Lord, than I them. Understand. Please forgive me. Please for forgive me. Please. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> Gabriel. Yes, my Lord. Is his name found in the Book of Life? No, it is not, my Lord. Not everyone who looks and sounds religious are godly people. My words are clear. And your fate is no, sealed. No, no, Lord, please, no. No, no, no. Gabriel, oh, no. That's Messiah. not good. Bind him in chains. Take him away. No, Cast him into the deepest no, parts of the no, pit, no, where there will be no, weeping no. and gnashing of teeth. I guess that's the reason why sin is like the worst things you've ever done in your body. You do wrong choices. I was going to say something that you might not like the most. But sometimes when you make you look like you're going to that place too. To that scary place. This is what you're supposed to do before you go to heaven. So yes, they would um, actually do talk about why hell is actually going to make things real. Because people could have their own second death. Guess I was the only one I cannot really stand to as well. Hmm. That makes a lot of sense then.